there's kind of two things. There's the fact that doctors aren't really asking the questions about scar tissue. I mean, I've been in a lot of births where women are getting stitched up and the doctors are very casual about it, like, oh, the rectal sphincter tore, but I'll just stitch it back up, uh -huh. making it seem like that's something that's really simple and easy to do when the doctor's not following up afterwards to see I'm thinking to myself, I know this is not simple because these are the people that show up in my office and yes. this isn't something you just stitch up and go on with your life. This is something you stitch up and there's consequences and symptoms after. So what are some of the consequences that you've noticed with the women you're working with when there is, for instance, a rectal sphincter or external or even internal anal sphincter repair? What have you seen? I've seen rectal prolapses. I've seen fecal incontinence. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen just overall total lack of association with the area. So um, I think a lot of women, we have this idea that women have low libido postpartum, mm. but then this is just like an all encapsulating term, which, in, which can mean so many different things. And in this case, it could mean that you have real damage to your mm -hmm. rectum or to mm -hmm. a part of your pelvic floor that's just making you not want to have anything to do with that part. You're just putting it all in a category and low libido is the way that you know how to talk about it because that's what you've heard about. You don't know how to say, my rectum hurts or I have mm -hmm. hemorrhoids or I have scar tissue that mm -hmm. needs to be looked at.